Hi, Virgo. Let's do your weekly reading. Let's get right to it. Okay. Let's see. Whoa. Well, that was absolutely fast. I didn't even get a chance to shuffle. From the uh, Wisdom of the Oracle, you have Observer. And now we have a new deck. Thanks to donations to the channel. So thank you very much. This is the Angel Wisdom Tarot. And we are just going to take one card for an overall energy. Okay? The Hermit. And what that says is, Time spent in peaceful meditation and meaningful solitude. Shine your light as an example to others. Seek out or become a spiritual mentor. Self-discovery. And... This is you coming into your own reading. And these are special cards. They're supposed to have special meaning for the week. Now let's get a card from the Spirit Animal Oracle and see what they have for you this week. Beautiful, the dear spirit. Bring a gentle touch. Those are really nice cards. Okay, so let's get your reading started. <laughs> Very nice card. The Nine of Pentacles. You are very abundant, very satisfied with your life. It is a solitary energy, but a beautiful one. Okay, let's see what else you have. Huh? The Three of Swords, which means a broken heart. Now, it can run the gamut, you know, from... Just having your feelings hurt because somebody said something maybe you thought was uncaring. And it can go deeper, you know, to something that is very troubling to you. The good part about this is it will pass, okay? Let's see what else we have. Justice. Well, that's an excellent card to come out next to this card. If somebody did hurt you... If it wasn't, you know, just your thoughts that were causing you problems, but if somebody actually did do something, justice is here for you. And it will be taken care of. Oh my goodness, look at this. Ah, yay. At the bottom of the deck, you have the sun, which is the best card in the entire deck. It is one of total abundance, total joy, total happiness. Shine your light. It's beautiful. Love that card. Okay, let's go a little bit deeper. And see what we get. I don't even know if we need to, though. You have the sun. The chariot. Okay, the Chariot is a very strong card. It is a driving force. You have something that you want to do, a project, someplace. It could actually be, you know, geographical in nature. Someplace you want to go. And you are going to get there. If you look at the Sphinxes, they do not have reins on them. So you can be pulled a little this way or a little that way. But you will get back on point and you will reach your destination. It is a very strong energy. Okay, let's see what else we have. Balance. The Two of Pentacles. It's all about finding balance. The yin yang. And let's get one more. 
Whoa, this one wanted to fly out. A High Priestess. Okay, that's a really nice card. You are in tune with your intuition and your higher self. The answers that you are seeking lie within. Access your inner wisdom and divine feminine energy. And at the bottom of the deck is beautiful. You have the Ten of Pentacles, which is all about you being very abundant, very happy, very content, and wanting to share it with everybody you love. Your family, your friends, even your animals, your pets. And it takes place inside of a community, and I believe that's involved as well. So it's a very sharing, caring, abundant energy. And remember, whatever energy is on the bot at the bottom of the deck influences the rest of the entire reading. So, this is actually, other than this one moment, a very nice reading. It's going to be a really great week. Now this energy, this hurt that you're experiencing, like I said, you will have justice for it. And it falls right below the Hermit, which is you. And the Hermit card itself is um, about you being on a path of spiritual knowledge and self-discovery. You retreat from everyday life and create a space for introspection. Go within and you will discover the knowledge and clarity that you seek. And that might also include how to deal with this. But I know justice does. The dear spirit says, bring a gentle touch. So if somebody hurts you, you know, maybe the best thing to do is, you know, find out what happened, forgive them. It depends on what it is, you know, only you would know. But regardless, justice will come into play here. Okay. But. Getting past that, this is a minor thing. It will pass, whatever it is. The rest of your reading is wonderful. I think you are going to have a great time. Sharing your abundance. Having a lot of abundance. These three right here are full of abundance. And happiness and joy. So you should have a great time week or a great time frame. Okay, let's get a charm for you. What? <laughs> okay, it is a passenger jet. Now, what this has to do with anything, I'm not sure. Well, one, the universe has a sense of humor, okay? But for two, maybe it has to do with this driving force, vehicle, you know, vehicle of sorts. Maybe it's just acknowledging that you are on a path. You are going to a certain place and you are going to get there. But just in case, we'll take one more. Okay. See if we get something else. Yeah. Here we go. It's a butterfly. It's transformation. You're transforming out of one energy and into another. And I can tell you, it is a beautiful energy, because look at these. They are great. Let's get a card or two from the universe. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, this to me is kind of like a precursor card. You planted a seed. You took care of it. You watered it. You made for sure it had enough sun and nutrients. You weeded it. And before long, you had this beautiful garden that you were tending to. So, the way I see this is this is what is creating 
all this wonderful energy that surrounds you. These two would be the exception. This is a hurt, and this is justice for the hurt. But, yeah, I see this as kind of, like I said, being a precursor to a lot of the energies here. Mm. This is very fast, positive moving energy. So whatever is going on, maybe it is this chari chariot, the driving force. Maybe that. Whatever destination you have in mind, you are going very fast. And it is in a very positive way. Okay, these cards just all of a sudden became unruly. Yeah, this might be why. Hmm. Okay, this card, the Seven of Wands, talks about you having created something that you feel that you have to defend because other people want what you have. Okay, so let me scoot these over a little bit because I think this card fits in right here these three so it's kind of like two storylines here the bigger picture and this small area you having to defend yourself over something that is yours that you created should not happen people should not try to get what it is that you have created that you've done and that was hurtful to you but Justice is here for you. So whatever that was, it will be taken care of. Okay? Just so you know. Don't stress over this. Enjoy this beautiful time that you have. All right. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful week. Much love. Bye now.